I wasn't sure, number one, will I be able to tell that much difference? I wasn't sure whether I'd like it or not. This video is sponsored by Cruiseman's Garage Honda Goldwing Maintenance Video Series. So the first step is to unplug the OBD connector and reveal the port so we can plug in the new flash unit. How much of it comes off? Just the little end here? Yeah, just the end. Well, maybe it's more than just the end. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, no, it is. Yeah, it's the whole. Oh, you know what we're doing? We're doing, we're doing it the wrong. Yeah, so we're doing the wrong. It's this up here. Okay, that makes a difference. It does make it. Next, I connect the BT Moto flash unit to the positive terminal of Tom's battery, and we also plug in a battery tender. In the flasher, two will click work. Okay, it's already clicked, so... Okay, then we select the motorcycle brand. Uh, I'm select the C. GL1800. There it is. Okay, then 18 to 23. Still don't have 24 on here. Mm -hmm. Okay, got that. Okay, we've done that. Switch dashboard. Switch on the dashboard, check the connections, press OK to continue. So put it fully on. And it's still not coming on wow. with this thing plugged in. Whoa, that's new. That It didn't do that last not time. Last time, time, the first time we did it, it, it worked. worked. Yeah. Okay, just so everybody knows, what we've done is we've gotten to the step where we're supposed to switch on the bike. We've got everything plugged in, but it will not. the bike will not turn on. And if we turn the ignition, that's interesting. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, well cycling the fob. Maybe it takes a while. Maybe it takes a while, or maybe cycling the fob. Yeah. Who knows? Somebody okay. Somebody's okay. missing. I think so. <laughs> okay, it's starting communication. Switch off the dashboard to continue. Okay. Operation in progress. And the next thing is we should see the version of your ECU. Please go. Okay. It's your vehicle to stabilize battery. We've done that. And I think you did have to do this a couple of times, didn't you? I think so. I didn't have to press OK. It just started up reading it again. Switch off the dashboard to continue. There we go. There's your 0906 flash 96. underscore. We didn't get that far before. No, we didn't. Uh, faulty unit. Okay. Identification. Ooh. ID or back. I guess ID. I would think so. Wonder, okay. please connect your vehicle to stabilize battery. Or is it done? Do you think it's done? I don't know. Please connect to. Let's let, let me look at the instructions again. Okay. Real quickly. I've got them on my phone. Because it may be, we may be finished. <laughs> finished? Not know it. Hmm. So Tom goes online to the BT Moto website to check the instructions to see if there are any other steps we need to follow. Okay, we got it to the point where it says task successfully completed. So the ECU map from Tom's bike should now be inside this unit. And I think now we hook it up to his computer uh -huh. and then upload that map to BT Moto. That's correct. So we got a lot farther this time than we did last time. Okay, so Tom, I'm just narrating here Tom has downloaded the software from the BT Moto website and he's going to now install it now he's having to use parallels because you have to have a Windows computer to do this and he has a Macintosh so he's running parallels which lets you run Windows software 
basically running Windows 11 and he's going to attempt to install this software now. Okay, how to send and receivers. It looks like, okay. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. We didn't know it at this point, but you cannot use a Macintosh running parallels. You actually have to have an actual PC to complete this procedure. Okay, it's connecting to their server and downloading the update, it looks like. Uh-oh, error with genius. Uh-oh. DLL not, not loaded. Okay. I'm thinking it's not going to run on this, on this, uh, okay. parallels. Again. <clears throat> oh, now we've got two icons on here. Hmm. I think that was the original one. I think this is the new one. Oh, I thought, I thought the original had black on it. Thought so? Okay. I thought so. I thought it had a black background. That was the one that was there before. That was the one that was there before? Yeah, okay. I think so. Well, let's try this one then. It'll tell you if it needs to be updated. <laughs> Don't know. It should start. It should either one should start the updated program, I would think, but who knows? Right, should should have replaced the other one. I yes. Oh, that's okay. Different. Okay, we're in. We've got my genius client says connect my genius tool to access this feature. And now it says update. Update. Okay. Uh, but I wonder if that's. Let's try it, since that's the main thing that says update okay let's run that again just for fun but that was a different interface wasn't it, it was a different interface that's what i thought so that may well have been the new program but thank you same okay, error there's that same dll error we'll see that may be a critical error but it may not You'd think it were a critical error, it wouldn't complete just the stop. update. Yeah. You'd think it'd just stop. Update complete. Okay. Now we're going to reload it. If it says update, we're still going to connect it and see what happens. Okay. We're going to connect. I mean, are those disabled? Will it let it you? It says connect your My Genius tool okay. to access this feature. Okay. Now let's see what happens. Okay. Now what do you do? You think you hit work? I don't know. Let's read directions when all else fails. You know, see that's a that's a step I don't understand. <laughs> that's <laughs> speaking French. That speaking French again. I don't He's gonna cuss. We're gonna have to ask him to leave. Yeah. <laughs> directions? Where is this? Uploading your stock file to our website. Now that you save, well, we need to save it. Okay. Now that you read ID your EC, you need to pull that data from your flash device and put it on the computer so you can send it to our staff. With our software open on your computer, plug the flash into the USB port and click download from my genius and save the file to your desktop so it's easily found. It's connected. I think that I think that DLL file may have been Maybe. necessary for it. Okay. Okay. Well, let's try it with Windows. Okay. Real Windows, I mean. Okay. okay. Fortunately, Tom brought a actual HP PC with him, so we're trying this again. We couldn't get it to work on the Mac with Parallels. We kept getting an error message when we tried to install the update saying it was missing a DLL, so we're going to try to install the software on this pure PC. I'm not sure we saw that last mm, time. We didn't. Hope I have C++ on this computer. God, you have to have C++ to do this? Yes! How many people would have C++ on their computer? Well, even on the PC, we also got this DLL error, 1424 DLL not loaded. We're not sure why, because we got the same error that we got on the Macintosh. Yeah. But we're going to try it anyway, see if it will continue. Process was completed successfully. 
All right. All right. So that's the new file that went here? No. The, the ECU file that this machine read off of my current ECU was just transferred to my computer, yeah. which I'm then going to send to BT Moto. Okay. They're going to analyze that, yeah, yeah, yeah. create okay, a new file, and send it back. That's the step that just got worked. That's the step. We, now it's on your computer. Now so it's on my computer. Send. I send it in. Okay. Finish. You mentioned that you're friends with Cruise Man when you send it. And now... The device. Click here to start uploading a modified file to the device. Yeah, so that's... how do you upload it to them? That's a good question. Yeah. Or is it just, is it sitting in your download? I thought they said you email it to them. One week later. Okay, so we're here today with Tom Miller and welcome back. Thank you. When Tom left last week, he had successfully, we had gotten the uh, flash or the, the map off of his ECU. And then tell me what you did after that, because you went home and did something. Yes. While we were still here, we actually downloaded the file, the data file, from the handheld unit onto my Windows computer. When I got home, then I connected to the BT website and uploaded that data file to their website. That was Saturday about noon. Then Monday morning, fairly early, around 8 or 9 o'clock, I heard back, I got an email from BT Moto saying that my tune file was ready for download. That's pretty quick. It really was, especially since I just uploaded on a Saturday. I was real happy about that. Yeah, so today we're going to get the uh, new file off of Tom's computer or onto Tom's computer, I think. And we're gonna, we're gonna put it first, we're gonna download it from their website onto my computer. Right. We're gonna upload it to the handheld site, to the handheld unit, and then we're going to try installing the on my bike. And then uh, Tom will take it out for a ride and let me know if he can tell a difference. And I'll let you ride it too if you want to. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's get started. All right. So fortunately, Tom brought his PC with him because you do have to have a PC to do this. And we had a little challenge getting the application to open. I think that was mostly our fault. I think we were opening it from the incorrect place. So he went ahead and downloaded the app again from the BT Moto's website and then he was able to locate the tuned file and download that which went into the downloads folder. Does it put it into like a downloads folder? It should put it in the downloads and folder. And then the flasher will look in that downloads folder. I don't know what it looks or whether we have to point it there. Okay. Okay, there's the name of the file. Okay. It says it has a whole bunch of numbers and it says my G file. We stand for my genius file. That's the name of their software, my genius. All right. Let's look and see if we can find that. While Tom continues to download this file, let me remind you to check out his channel, Tom's Goldwing Adventures, and don't forget Robert White's channel as well, Robert White Moto. Uh, right there's the file. Okay, good. Okay, so we're good. We should be good. What we're going to do now is we're going to hook this up. There we go. Okay. This now draws power off the USB port in right. the computer. Now we're going to start their software. Now, their software, is this something you've downloaded, or is this from their website? This is something I downloaded from their website. Okay. Right, there it is. My and that's the same software that you use to get the file off of here? Yes. So okay. this is already on my computer from last week. In progress. Oh, so it's now talking? Yes. To this? It's identifying that it's hooked up. Communication activated. Do you have to click OK over here? I, th I think so. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Well, let's keep trying here. OK. Oh, there we go. Um, I think we should not have clicked OK at that point. I think we need to keep it in communication mode. OK. I'm going to disconnect. Let me see if this will... Wait, maybe it does. Upload to My Genius is what we're supposed to do at this point. OK. So let's see if that works. I'm just surprised to give you the okay message. My gene is detected. You can start the procedure. Okay. Maybe that's when you were supposed to click okay. 
Maybe so. I'm not seeing anything. I'm not either. Okay, I'm going to start it over. I'm going to start it over. Disconnect this, and I may even need to start the program again. I wonder if it's going to show up down here. I don't think that I have to um, deactivate it. I think I can just. Yeah, I don't think I have to. Okay, let's try it. What's that? My gene is disconnected. Please connect your device. I am going to... Just start over? Yeah, I'm going to try to start over. I'm going to start. I'm going to plug it in. Okay, it says communication activated. Don't click OK this time. Right. <laughs> Just let it. Okay. Upload to my genius. My genius detected. You can start the procedure. Now maybe you click OK after that message. I don't know. What do you think? It's the only thing I can think of to start the procedure. Yeah, because there's nothing, nothing else on going the screen. on over here. Hmm. Let's click work and see okay. what happens. No, that's where it that's where you were before? No, this is where, this is, this should be the next step after we've uploaded the file. Ah, right. Let's go back. What about setup? Would that be it? I don't think so, but what do I know? Now, contract language ID back. Try uh, Unplugging it again and quitting the software and reopening yeah, okay. from, from the very beginning. I don't know what happened. I don't either. This is really easy in their video. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. It can tell I've disconnected. Of course, it. we don't know how much they edited out of their video. <sighs> it may have a point there. A few moments later. At this point, we started getting some really weird error messages, so we decided to completely trash the application and reinstall it from the BT Moto website. I'll use this right here where it says BT Moto handheld software, Windows only. Okay, so while we're watching the screen, I'm going to explain what we're doing. We went back to the BT Moto website, we downloaded a brand new copy of the application. And it's now installing it. It appears to be installing something over here as well on the flash unit, we're not sure. But it's definitely installing a new version of the application on Tom's computer. And hopefully this will resolve any issues that we had earlier. Update complete. Okay, so that did the update. Mm -hmm. okay. That's it, that's, that's what I got out of okay. that. Now let's see if it's gonna open or if we have to open it up ourselves. Okay, that looks better. See, they're all colorized now. Right. Looks better. Okay. Now, we already have the file on here, so we should be ready to upload to My Genius. Okay. Right file. We didn't see this before. No, this is new. You can continue with the wizard. Okay, it says okay, you can continue. Then you select the file next. next. Yes. Which should be in downloads, I think. Yes. This long file here yep. says my G, MYG file. And it says the type is a mod file. Okay. It's verifying the file. I'm liking this. Yep, this looks good. Promising. I think I, I think the problem that I, the, the mistake I made was opening it from the downloads folder rather yeah. than using the icon here on the desktop. Probably. I think if yeah. I'd done that, we'd... it might have been trying to reinstall it or something. Yes, I think so. Okay. okay. Next, so it's got the file. And apparently, you don't have to click the OK button every time you see it over here. <laughs> you just let this thing do its do its thing, I guess. We'll see. It says it's uploading. It says file loading on tool.
procedure completed successfully. Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, no. Somebody decided to join us, and he didn't know that you have to be on a motorcycle to come oh, over here. Oh, see y'all. <laughs> Hi, Robert. Sorry. How are you uh, doing, buddy? I'm fine. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. I think we got his new map installed on the little handheld unit. Okay. We think. In the main menu, the first thing we do is we hit work. Select. Okay. Now, are you reading there? No. Oh, I'm, you're just I'm recording a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then we, it asks for protocol and it says writing. We select writing. There it shows the name of the tuning file. That's the one we just copied Uploaded. over to this mm -hmm. flasher. So that's really encouraging. Operation in progress. Please connect your vehicle to a stabilized battery. We've done that. Oh, we haven't done that. Switch on the dashboard, check the connections, and press OK. Switch on okay. the dashboard. We had that problem before. Yeah. We waited, and, and it, then it just did it. Yes, so let's wait. Should we try it again? Mm -hmm. There we go. When we first tried to turn the dashboard on, nothing happened. We waited a few seconds, tried again, and it came right up. Okay, now it says operation in progress. Switch off the dashboard to continue. And this is not where I, we... I think this is just a short, just a regular switch off. Please connect your battery to stabilized, vehicle to a stabilized battery, we've done that. Switch on the dashboard, check the connections and press okay to continue. Switch it on. And it worked just fine. It says wait, starting communication. Writing preparation in progress. And one of these steps takes like 10 or 15 or 20 minutes, doesn't it? Yes. This is, I believe this, this might is the be step. The step. Yeah. Programming my G file, G file 0.mod. And we've got a progress bar down here just below that. Let's see if we start seeing some progress. This step is supposed to take 15 to 20 minutes. And that's why you want to make sure you're on a battery tender. Yes. Ah, I see progress. I do too. That is encouraging. Now this is interesting. Yeah, it does that. That, that means it's in programming mode. Uh -huh. It says it's going to do that. Okay. That's not anything to worry about. Good to know. Got the little weird symbols on the dash here. Yeah, it just means it's in programming mode. The video said to expect that. It's nothing to worry about. So while we wait for the flash to load onto Tom's computer, his ECU, we have time to sit around and get caught up on motorcycle stories. Last week when we were downloading the data from the ECU onto this handheld device, I wasn't wasn't concerned about that. There's very little danger that you can do anything to damage the bike there. But in today's step, we're uploading the modified tuned file onto the ECU. If something goes wrong with this part we're doing right now, this bike could become a brick. Yeah. And then I inherit a 2023 brick. red Goldwing. Brick. Door, door stop. I can sell for parts. <laughs> but not the ECU. <laughs> no, not the ECU. This process did end up taking about 20 minutes to complete. Yes. What does that say? It says... Switch off the dash. Switch off the dash. Now here's where we want to switch. Want me to do this? Yeah. If something happens, it's, it's on me. <laughs> You know, the Honda came that's up. the Honda. That's okay. The, okay. Okay. Now it automatically continued. Okay, that's good. After doing that, weight operation in progress. That's a good sign. That's a real good sign. And then we have to turn it back on again, and then off again. Is that? And correct? off again and hold it again. Yes. Yeah. What I, a I weird set of yeah gyrations. 
switch on the dashboard, press OK to continue. You got your tour back. Good, that's encouraging. Okay, I'm going to press OK. Please connect your vehicle to a stabilized battery. We've done that. Starting communication again. Okay. I didn't switch off the dashboard. Now here we're going to have a long off. Came back up again. It came back a little faster that time. Yeah. Riding ECU completed. Uh-uh. Yes. Kidding. No. Analyzing log in progress. Now I wonder what that's doing. I don't know. Making it a brick. <laughs> <laughs> Laying the brick? It's reset itself to work. So okay. the process appears to have completed. Now Shall we unplug it? We'll unplug this, yes. And it suggests that we do a DCT reset at this point. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna unplug it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to disconnect from the port over here, the OBD port. After we did a DCT reset on the transmission, it's time for Tom to take his bike out and give it a try with his new ECU flash. Okay, so Tom is back from his inaugural ride with the BT Moto Flash, and we're going to find out if he can tell the difference. And yes, I can definitely tell a big difference in it. Can you? I wasn't sure, number one, will I be able to tell that much difference? I wasn't sure whether I'd like it or not. But I can tell you, this makes a big difference. Really? I see... The biggest difference to me is in sport mode. It smooths sport mode out. It's still a beast, but it's not twitchy and jerky like it used to be. Okay. Used to, I, I've tried sport mode in the past, but I wouldn't really use it because to me the throttle was just too twitchy. But now it's smoothed that out and it's a beast in sport mode. Okay. It really is. It'll throw you back against the, your backrest. In tour mode, it feels like it has more power to me. Okay. And uh, it was revving a little bit higher in tour mode, but that may have been because of the DCT reset we did. Okay. So I don't know how it, that's going to be long term, but it it's fantastic. Okay. Good. Uh, I, I wasn't sure what to expect, but I like it. Good. Good deal. Okay. So there you heard it. Uh, Tom's a fan. Yes. And. Uh, BT Moto ECU update, and once again, I live in the noisiest neighborhood in the city, thanks to leaf blowers and weed eaters. <laughs> but anyway, if you're interested in the BT Moto for your bike, I suggest you contact Max Attraction. Uh, they sell them. They'll ship it to you, or they'll install it for you. So, thanks, Tom. Appreciate you oh, letting us do this. Thanks for all your help with this. Sacrificing your bike for the cause. <laughs> Fortunately, didn't get sacrificed. Okay, well, I expect next I want you to put that speed limiter to the test and see. Yeah, if... I don't think I'll do that in the Metroplex. If I can get out on some of the <laughs> quieter roads, I may do it one of these days. Okay, well, thank you, Tom. I appreciate it. And uh, have a safe ride home. Okay, thank you. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, please give it a thumbs up. That's really helping the YouTube channel out. And check out BT-Moto if you're interested in this ECU flash.